This is Smallsy Surgery. Are you ready? Let's go, let's go all night. You're on air with Smallsy. You know, not only is Taylor Swift obviously uh, her too exciting at the end of the week, Pink has touched down. Yes. How great. I saw Pink's first shows over the weekend. I was at the show where the woman gave birth. At the at the show. Can I just say quickly, if you haven't got tickets to Pink yet, I think there's still some available. Uh, LiveNation.com.au. I'm not being paid to say this. Get yourself a ticket. You know when back in the day she used to do arenas and she would fly around like the arena and you'd be like, this is magnificent, this is huge. It's on a whole nother level when she's on the wires, on the cables, flying around a stadium. Honestly, my palms were sweaty thinking how high she was in the crowd. God forbid something happens. I hope they double check it. Anyway, (laughs) um, the woman, this was the big story that was going around over the weekend. This is from my video. I was there. Pink stops the show because there's like a medical emergency in the mosh pit. In the mosh pit. Here we go. Somebody's having a baby? I feel like we're all, we shouldn't be looking. Everyone give her a privacy. Congratulations. It was such a moment. It was a such a moment. My, my follow-up question, I had a lot of them, is like, who would go so pregnant to a pink show that you would the baby could to pop anywhere. out? To anywhere. <laughs> like, don't you stay at home? Don't you just sit on the couch? Ladies, you can tell me. If you're that pregnant, the baby could pop out. Don't you just stay at home with your go bag ready to go to the hospital, not to the pink show? It does bring me to my follow-up question. 13, 24, 10. Where did you go into labour? Now, I know... Not everyone listening has had a baby. We're like, honestly, we're shooting ducks in a barrel here. It's going to be quite fish in a barrel here because it's going to be quite hard to get a story because you have to A, have had a baby, and B, gone into labour somewhere strange. But that's what I'm putting the call out for tonight. 13, 24, 10, where did you go into labour? I'm after the stories of where people have them in a car, Oh, my God. You know, she's just driving. You know, women just... She's just minding her own business, plodding along the, the road. But bah, 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 baby pops out in the stairwell, in the foot footwell right there. Uh, where else can a baby come? Baby I'm can come. I'm shocked by that visual. Sorry. <laughs> baby can come on a plane. Babies can come on planes. 13, 24, 10. That's the question. I want to know, where did you have the baby? Where did you go into labour? Was it at a pink show? Were you in... Was that you in the mosh pit? What did you call the baby? 13, 20, 14, go to it. Hello, Rhiannon. Welcome to the show. Hi there. Hello. How are you? You're right. Normal place to have a baby, I would imagine. Right. Well, not normal. Got to choose my words carefully here because, you know, home births are all the things, uh, all the rage. You know, people can have them in a bath these days. It's all normal. But where did you go into labour? It's not the standard um, place. No, I uh, went into labour with my son, who's with me at the moment, um, at Putt-Putt Golf. Oh, um, fantastic. But then I didn't quite realise it was labour at first. Um, so yourself. we went to Bunnings, um, <laughs> and then I was looking for a lawnmower, and um, then I noticed that they were contractions. <laughs> no. Uh, where did you crown? Did you crown in aisle 23 in Bunnings, or no, did you look, make it to I, the hospital? I made it to the hospital, thank goodness. Thank God um, for that. That would have been quite embarrassing. Um, yeah. Funny enough, we're actually at Bunnings at the uh, moment. Hey, Bunnings <laughs> is a great place. I, honestly, I, you, you know... Rhiannon, I love Bunnings too, and I'm not going to have a bad word said about it. I can spend my whole... Let's give you a double pass to go check out the new Madam Web movie. You can take your son to that, all right? Stars of Dakota Johnson, oh, Sydney Sweeney. Awesome. Uh, let's go. Rebecca. Yes, uh, hi. You did a pink. You did a pink, it says here. Someone, I did. You had, a, you had a baby at a concert? <laughs> I was at a festival with thousands of people, and I went into labour with my second child. Wow! So that we said, did the water break at the? What festival was it at? And where did the baby actually come out? Yeah, it was at lighting of the Christmas tree, which has been going on forever and ever in Frankston. Yeah, there was rides and there was food trucks. Um, and uh, yeah, I went into labour in the middle of a crowd yeah. and had to get my way out of there. Mm. Um, thankfully, I made the hospital. Okay, um, but yeah. Definitely went through it. Lovely. Let's give you a double pass to go check out the new Argyle movie. It's in cinemas now. I want to do another round of these calls, if you don't mind. 13, 24, 10. Where did the baby come out? Now, we've heard all of the stories of where did you go into labour. Now I want the stories of, like, surprise, the baby actually came out. 
So you've obviously gone into labour, but we fast-forwarded through that, and the baby came before you got to the hospital. 13, 24, 10. Let's do one more round. George in Westmead on the text line says, we made it to hospital, but um, the baby, we gave birth in the lift. Yep. What does that mean? What do you, well, they, they obviously made it to the hospital. But, but didn't, to get to the, didn't get to the ta- <laughs> didn't get to the bed. Um, Aiden. Aiden. Yes. What happened? You had the accidental home birth. Yeah, it wasn't fantastic at all. So wife um, rang the hospital. They told her to wait an hour. Yeah. I went downstairs, had a coffee. She jumped in the shower. Yeah. Went upstairs. She had flooded the bathroom and it was time to deliver a baby. What? So they... Okay. And then the, where, where did the baby come out? On the bathroom floor. No. Yeah. And then um, the paramedic took about half hour to get out to it. So yeah. I was looking at it. Now, you know, quick, quick question. Born. Yeah, quick question. Everyone's fine. Yes? Yeah, I'm okay, All right, great. 100%. Now I can ask my, my follow-up questions. I just need to check that everyone... How much mess? Like, I'm just... Like, was it like a crime scene up in there? I can't imagine it would have been pretty. Credit credit to my wife. She did really well with no um, no medication. No, yeah, no like epidural. That. It's just like it's the no, old-fashioned. Not. It's yeah. like they did it in the olden days. 100%. And then, um, you know, with my 16-month-old daughter playing with blocks behind us, both. No. It was happening. It was, no. Yeah, it was Aiden, it was this is why I'm not having children. This sounds awful. I don't know why you do this to yourself. You need a <laughs> oh, night out. Amazing. You need a night out away from the kids. Let's give you a double pass to go see the Force of Nature Dry 2 movie. Um, Steph, hello to you. Hi. Um, Hi. Your, How are you? Where did your best friend pop the baby out? Oh, in a shopping centre bathroom. That's what I want to know. A good one? Good bathroom? Because you know yeah. some of those Westfields have been updated. Quite bougie. It was clean. Quite bougie bathrooms. It was, yeah, it was clean. You don't want to go... It was go... like disabled, like, parents' bathrooms. Oh, nice. So I had, like, a ch- little lounge area, your little... little. Yeah. <laughs> so the baby comes... What, did she not... Like, was there any warning? Was she just, like, in Zara, she, just she, going, she, Hey, she Steph, she what do you think? She didn't know she was pregnant at all. Yeah, wait, didn't know she was pregnant stop, at all wait, the whole I, time. Wait, 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 you've caught me off guard here. And then you've, all of a sudden... Stop talking. <laughs> <You've>, <laughs> turn the music off. You, she didn't know she was pregnant? Your friend did not know she no, was... No, ha- no warning at all. Had no clue. Not that, not that I was a bit hungrier for the last nine months than I normally was. Not, um, no, not the, nothing. Was she, I mean, nothing. was she... Is Steph... Steph. Like did the was she, is she bigger girl? Like did it hide it? Like I'm I'm just like I I've seen many pregnant women and they know there's a baby in there, but she just didn't know. No, and even like looking at her, I I feel like she looked a bit bloated, mm. but it wasn't anything that you were like, oh, that's a baby. See, because but what about the last couple of weeks? Like I'm not going to name names, but bless my sister in law when her. <laughs> When my nephew came by and her ankles blew up, phew, she had some swelling. Like, there are some warning signs. Like, yeah. nothing bloated? Nothing. Just yeah. bang, baby at Westfield. No, nothing. I think she said she felt a bit, like, she felt a bit off, but she thought she just had, like, a Before, bug or something. Yeah. That is the wildest story I have ever heard. Um, <laughs> everyone's safe, though? Mum and Bub are doing well? Yes, they're great. See, love, well, I think the baby is almost, almost three now. Wow. So. Am I? Is there a weird delay there between... Is. Steph, is there a weird <laughs> delay between why it takes you like five hours to respond to me or are you... Hello? Yes, it take, it's like you're like... You're yeah, no, let's, and yep, yep, <laughs> that's, yep, that's Steph, all good. We're going to wrap things up there because like... That's a that's enough. That is a wild. How do you? I have no idea. I've never been pregnant, but I'm assuming, ladies, if you were, you'd have to know, wouldn't you? You'd be hungry. It wasn't that eating that large pizza every <laughs> Friday night not a giveaway anyway. Smallsy surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.